What is up guys, welcome to GWT Goons, here's another new episode for you today. So after what happened last time, right, so uh, Jim John kind of trying to be a hero. I we, didn't know. Now we get to a gunfight with some, a neighbor, so. One thing I know how to do is, no. Undertakers like me, cattle, not so much. That ain't true. We also have a fight with our wife as well, so. Raised them, stole cattle, not birthed them. As, as reading the newspaper, I was reading about a old ranch, Beecher's Hope, down by Blackwater. Was you? Well, Jack read it to me, but I thought maybe we could raise some money. Bank could lend us the rest. We could be happy, John. Bank could... loans? I got a goddamn price on my head, woman. I know. I know all about that. Every time we about to get somewhere, make something, you go and show the entire world that you ain't Jimmy Milton. Every place we've been, it's been the same. We start doing okay, and then What's boom. Even? You act like the big man with the gun. I'm tired, John, and I guess I was dreaming a little. At least give me that. Is it really that hard to just trying to be feels hopeless. normal? You're doing better. Milton! Milton, ma'am, Mr. Geddes needs you to head over to Strawberry in the wagon and collect some mail for him at the post office. Sure. I'll take the boy with me. He's getting soft. Lancelot! Come on. Jim, if you're heading that way, can you pick up a parcel for me? A dress I ordered. I think it's in your name? My name. I think so. One's in your name and the other one's in mine. O only one should have come in by now. How much shopping you done? Oh yes, a real keen purchaser of goods, me. Look at me. Go on, okay, man. Lancelot. I'll make a man out of you yet. Not too much of a man, mine. He's only a boy. Just gonna show him how to drive the wagon a little. We'll save the real exciting realities of adulthood for another day. Come on. Get birds and bees. If you know what I mean. <laughs> Yeah. Being in the house, huh? I think just about the other things you like, boy. What mm -hmm. happened the other night? With those men, did you kill them? I did what I had to do. To protect you. Ma said it was pride or something? Ma was wrong no. about that. Come on. Me as a player, I know. Don't. Just trying to save his family. Want to take the reins a little? I, I don't know, Pa. Let go on. Right. It's easy, boy. Don't be scared. Well, uh, w what do I do? Well, just hold him and pull him short and slow down. Tell him to go faster. Give him a little switch. And then pull to one side if you want to turn. Yeah, it's Here. basically just like. Just like it's very similar. To riding the horse is just without. Here we 
we are. Okay, let's go. You all right, son? Sure. Well, cheer up a little. I'm literally blocking the rock. Wait here. I won't be long. Okay. Yeah. And if you behave, I might let you drive us home. Can't wait. Hello. Hi. I'm here. Name? My name? Uh, Jim Milton. Jim Milton. Hmm. Nope. Nothing here. Uh, maybe try Marston. John Marston. It's a long story. Okay. John Marston. Marston. Nope. Nothing here for that name either. Try Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Yes, here we are. And also, I'm here to pick up the deliveries for Pronghorn Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn? Yes, er, uh, oh, er, uh, sign here. We have a bunch of stuff for you. And I will help you out. That guy's just left and not look like friendly you get the rest of the stuff. person. Here, let me help you with this, Mr. Marston. That's, uh, Mostly Milton these days. It's a long story. Whatever you say, Mr. Milton. It's not important. Take care now. Give my regards to Gettys. Thank you very much, mister. Okay. Let's get out of here. Everything okay, Pop? Sure. I hope so, at least. Here. No. You take the reins a little. I ain't <laughs> sure. Come on, son. You'll enjoy it if you try a little harder. Okay. Okay, Pa. Pa! Do I have a gun? We're going back to Pronghorn, okay? So, wait. We've come all the way out here and we're just gonna turn around and go back? That's what we're doing. Turns out, uh, I miss the seclusion of the ranch more than I figured for. Don't you want to go to the store or the saloon or anywhere? We're going back. Okay, boy? But, I've been sitting in this wagon I don't know how long. Literally, like Keep on one minute. And watch the road. Yes, sir. Thank you. Jesus, mind your father, okay? I got my reasons, even if I don't care to explain them. Yes, sir. Better. Yeah. I feel like something is going to happen. Look, if I tell you to speed up, speed up. If I say slow down, you slow down, okay? Uh, sure. All right, speed up. Let's get away from there. Okay. Be up. Okay. I see. Let's speed this up. Yeah. Who's this? Sorry, sir. Was that a question for me? No. No, keep driving. Fast. Faster, please. I think we're going too fast, Pa. Fine. Right. Pull your reins in. Say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. 
Okay, gentlemen. Let's see what you come calling about. What do you boys want with us? Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Are you John Marson? You sure look like him. What of it? Come here, partner. We don't mean no trip. Oh, is that right? At this point, we also need the money. What's, why is the horse just going this way? Oh dear, those men! I told you not to look, boy. Are they dead? We're stuck. No, they're sleeping. This is awful. I didn't have much of a choice. You saw that. Now, compose yourself. You killed them, huh? Son, I need you to hold it together. Just get it together, man. Shot at. Shot at? What happened? Well, we got followed and then. Followed by who? Probably someone who. Knew me. If we didn't get to them particulars, I'm sorry. My son. Our son. It's because we're picking up your package. That's why. Your dress it caused all the problems. Or even a dress. It was a gift for you. Why can't you just name it like something you have to make it like so complicated. Hey Mr. Jim? Mr. Jim? Hey! Uh, there's a telegram messenger for you over there in, near the house. There is? Okay. For me? Thanks, Abe. Who could send what something? Do you think you want? I have no idea. I have no idea. But I doubt someone wants to give me a big pile of money. That's him. I see him. Thanks, Abe. Thanks. I don't. I don't think it's some sort of good news. Anyway. Excuse me, Mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me. Yes. Here. Sign there. 
Thank you. Jim, stop. If you're the JM I know, stop. It's Sadie Adler. I've got something to discuss. Who is Sadie? Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. There most days. Stop. <laughs> stop. Sadie Adler. I'll be damned. Sadie. It'll be it would be good to see Sadie again. Maybe she know some other people's where everyone is and you know, obviously I'm not trying I mean I obviously understand that he's a family man now John obviously he always been more quiet Tell life darling John a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had many problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I have begged you, but it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Do time what? after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hell-bent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Why is Abigail. she being like this? It's like, sounds... The, the way that she sounds like... Making John's like, oh, we don't... We don't love the family, we don't love a son. It's not the two. <clears throat> Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy. And the bags. What's going on? You married Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? Catch you with a showgirl? I hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? Just who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting. Unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. I guess not. There's work to be done. Unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? Mm -hmm. A rancher? You'll starve. Probably. <laughs> Keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it. Let me turn back to work. That's... Is the... Was going to be Ooh. was about to. You want some milk, some cow now? Here, left, right, 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 left, right. You see that? My technique is so good. Left, right, left, right, left, right. You just see my hand actually in real life. I was like, doo, 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 doo. that's what it's going to be every single day. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Right, left, right. Left, right, left, right, left, right. You finally done. A few months later. 
Yeah. That's her full. Hey, you know, I was wrong about you. you. Turned into a fine worker, Jim Milton. Oh, thank you. Means a lot. Hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance? Well, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak, at least. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. Now, look at Jim. Got a shirt now. All right. Morning, Mister. Morning, Mister. A few months later, got a shirt now. Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mister Milton. Your father in? Can I have a word? Sure. I'll just get him. Pow! I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? I'm sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. An experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife... My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Do hmm? you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've Look. tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well, besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. And I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan. A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure. It'd be, it'd be my pleasure. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. <laughs> I'm just joking, son. Just make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. Use my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. You'll get her back. Yes! <laughs> Jim was like, yes! Outfit. Look at him. Ooh, the music playing, boy. Du -du -du. Damn, that. That's Alpha Head. See, literally change. Once you, the outfits change completely different person. Also got a better gun as well for some reason. <laughs> Not better gun, but belong to John. Also got John knife. Music all of a sudden has become more relaxing. Oh. Damn. Some fire. We could go to Sadie.
And I'm just wondering how to. What do I get? Complete it. I'm just wondering how did how did Sadie know where John is? I mean, obviously we're trying to keep it secret as possible, but still, how does she know? So now we finally back back to the old town that we remember hey, before. Not much change, it's still the same, same old, same old. People still pretty mean. But I feel like I got much more people now. Hey, partner. Move, will you? See, that's exactly what I'm saying. People still as mean as a bean. Now we are going to see my favorite character Bobble 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 Enjoy on Marston! It's good to see you. Damn. I, I thought I heard a rumor you was alive. Jim Milton, that you? Is that you? Do a real good job of hiding my identity. Yeah. <laughs> Jim you. John. You killed Feller up by Roanoke? Sure did. I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She? She's fine. <laughs> She was always so kind to me. It's, it's really good to see her after all those years. <laughs> you? Oh, you know how it is. Bounties mostly and some other stuff. Good and bad. Good and bad. And uh, ugly. Uh, I've gone straight. Sort of. Oh, oh, it's legal. I'm usually. Then, maybe. Come on then. Mm, what? Yeah. Where are we headed? Strawberry. Got on the run from New York. Good is that rest. is that her horse? Rob a bank. A gun? No, with a pan. He's an accountant, I think. Sounds easy. What, what happened to no, we her horse? A I know. I'm pretty sure her horse was pretty good before. You said you had something to discuss. I didn't think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. What? Micah. Micah? I think so. I heard of someone sounding like him then. About your back? Okay. We always say it. If we found him. I That's know what it. we said we'd do. That ain't changed. I didn't think I'd see any of you again after you left for the Yukon. Now we came back. Didn't strike it rich, as you can see. But you're a rancher now. I aim to be. Probably why I can't afford it. <laughs> this country's becoming real civilized. That folk won't be around for long. Exactly. When everyone start moving to become, <sighs> it's kind of sad. That seeing as everyone's dead, some people's just retire, and Mikey is still here. God damn it! Like the only person, like I want him to die. Like since the beginning, like like if you wa watch back at the beginning, like literally the first episode when we in the snow. What happened? Right. See what you can find. Literally, said, and the snow, and then um, it was like a shadow oh, just came in, and then I was like, "Who is that?" He looked like a bad guy. I knew it. I knew it at that moment. Even before I even see his face, I was like, 
he's he's not a good character. But you know. You seen it? You seen a bald New Yorker, name of Nathan Kirk, about 45? No, sir. We get plenty of New Yorkers here. It's resort town, you see. The Adirondacks of the West, the mayor calls it. Mm. <laughs> I can't remember any of the bastards. Okay. Ask in the general store or the post office. They tend to know who's in residence for the season, as we say. Season? Mm -hmm. Good lord. Hi there. Can I help you, partner? Yeah. Pardon? For a fella. Uh, New Yorker, name of Nathan Kirk. Never heard of him. We get a lot of New Yorkers. It's a resort town, you see. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm Try sure. in the Welcome Center. Welcome. They tend to know most of the visitors there. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, I'm going to switch to you first person now. Oh, oh. I think that's not the front gate. You uh, you seen a fella? A fella from New York? I don't Bald like guy? him. Look at his yeah. face. A few New Yorkers come here in search of the West. This one's a wanted man. I work for the government. Uh, s s sort of. His name's Nathan Kirk. Mr. Kirk. But he's so charming. Exactly. Is he staying here? He's uh in room three. <laughs> the way that he's just so he chill. Visit. It's government business. How exciting. <laughs> like he did not sound exciting at all. He just like Yeah, just get on with your business. That's none of my business. That's I guess that in the West that you know, back there that's it's now my business. You do you. That kind of thing. Mm. Some alcohol. This one. Mr. Hello. Kirk. Hello. Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? Hey. Stop. Hey. That's Nathan Kirk. Oh. Got him. What happened? Come on, lady. Come on, lady. Remember, we want him alive, though. I know. Okay. Fine, buddy. Am I using? Or oh, those I'm using, John or Jim, maybe you call it. Still pretty good. Where are you going? Yeah, where are you going? Leave you. I, w I wish. Sorry, so I do that now. Look out! Don't care. Okay, you're okay. Don't worry. That's a girl. Why are you running? Exactly. Boy, come Boy, here. Get hmm? off me! Just one of them things, huh, pal? Hmm? Hmm? Where you got, Thanks boy? Thanks for that, Mr. Kirk. Real fun. I'm an innocent man, but it's on stake. My wife, my wife is it? Hey, what now? Where shall I send the money? I ain't been paid yet. Hold on to it for me. Need to speak to the bank over in Blackwater. Get a loan from property. 
Might make them happy to mm -hmm. see I've got a boss. So I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're interested. I'm usually at the saloon of Blackwater. I need money pretty bad, so I'll come find you. See you later. So that's that's done. It's good. It's good to see Sadie again. You know, for the old time's sake. Not like this, but you know what I mean. Whoa now. So it's good to be back, and good to. I don't know. It's good. It's just good to be out there. I guess you know. As if I put my shoes as the John shoes, it's just good to doing something instead of just shoving in shit every day you know left right left right that kind of thing um but it was it was good it was good um i'm looking forward to the the rest of the episode um so i'm gonna call this one to the ends right here thank you for watching I hope you guys enjoyed it again um so just a little bit um at this point i know that everyone been busy that doing different uh gamings on the channel so and then so far i know that we only got sort of like a world war z that coming out as like a multiplayer games and um we also got quite a lot of things going on though like i said last time we got a lot of D and uh, it's I'm just a sneak peek. It's getting very interesting so far. Uh, we kind of stuck at one place. Literally, we was thinking about solution. Um, so it was it was very tricky. Um, so please, please go have a watch on for the those D and D series, and then. Um, is it trust me is getting much more interesting than the beginning so i hope you guys enjoyed it and this is me calling it and thank you very much have a good night bye